Hi Rosie. Hello. Welcome to another Press Pack session. How you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Thanks for coming in. I'm all right. I'm not bad. I want to get you in because I know you've been very busy in the studio doing some stuff. Yeah. And you've got a new album coming out, which we'll get onto in a bit. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk a little bit about Rosie and okay. Girl Bud. Yeah. Because obviously that's your historical background. Yeah, that was my apprenticeship. <laughs> that was your yeah. apprenticeship. Yeah. So do you want to tell me a little bit about um, what happened there? Kind of um, where it started, the highlights, and how it ended. Okay. Um, well, it started, first of all, I started a band called Powder Strip, which was when I came back from university. I moved back from London, and I'd been doing classical music, and I was just dying to make lots of noise. So came back and started that band. Um, that went on for a year, um, and I was sort of learning the direction I wanted to go in and um, began raising the gold bug. I read an Edgar Allan Poe story um, and loved the concept of the gold bug. You know, with like Florence and the Machines and Marina and the Diamonds that all, all had their success last year, the LaRue's, Little Boots. Um, it was like a social subconscious that was happening and um, I became part of that scene so um, got a lot of industry experience from that and um, got flown all over the place. And um, the, I guess the best bits were um, doing a tour in the States and touring with Cindy Lauper. The Guardian quoted you as Kate Bush on crack with gold frappy and simps. Um, and there's also someone else put up talking about the Rose in the Gold Bug. A bunch of deranged looking individuals <laughs> <laughs> who not like who look not like unlike human extras from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Um <laughs> Well, you know, Tim Burton, like big inspiration, always has been, still is now. So that's lovely. He got a lot of his inspirations from Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, right. So, you know, it's the the macabre coming back again. So yeah, yeah, the love it. inspiring straight away. Yeah, I love um I love Gold Frap. And I adore Kate Bush, so... All right, let's do a few of the run-of-the-mill <laughs> questions. Okay. Um, where were you born? Where do you live? Okay, um, I was born out on Bodmin Moor in Cornwall. Um, parents were, were musicians that um, were living in Bristol, moved, moved out to, the, to Bodmin Moor to set up a, a life there. Um, so grew up there with lots of pets and and my sister, no running water or electricity. That was like a big a big thing for us. We were, I read that actually last night. Yeah, yeah, that was that's really affected my whole life. Really, you know where my music comes from and stuff. What about lyrical content? You know, where do you draw your inspiration from lyrically? Um, actually, very sad places. Um, as I was growing up, um, there were. I was surrounded by a lot of quite tragic deaths and it's um, that really had an impact on my life. You know, as a child, losing people, you don't really know how to understand. Mm. My parents always used to play like uh, Peggy Seeger and Ewan McCall songs and stuff in the house. And there was also an auto harp like was featured on a lot of those yeah. songs. I should probably explain what it is really, shouldn't we, to people that are watching this? Yeah. It's it's um it's an instrument that uh, you can play um, where you hold it like that. I really should have brought it along, um, and you hold the bar chord down and just strum across. Like it's got that. a bunch. It's basically you just push the buttons for the different chords. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. kind of almost idiot proof in some ways. Yeah, you're definitely coming from a more electronic point of view, and yet yes. the stuff we talked about is very much they're all sort of very natural. I'm mixing the two together. So, you so I'm using like analog synths, um, drum machines. Um, I'm working with a guy called Christian Sharp, who you you know. Yeah, very well. Yeah. Yeah, and um, he's an excellent programmer. So he's programming these amazing beats, and we're using like an 808 drum machine. Um, so that's like the kind of engine, um, and then like the from that I'll, I'll get a vocal down. Um, because those, for me, the two most important things. And then in the middle, I'm filling it with analog synths and little African instruments. Yeah, and programmed natural sounds, which 
There's yeah. a beautiful combination. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's that balance. I got very influenced by the way Santa Gold's records sounded and that was, you know, that kind of, there was like a real quirk to what she was doing that I could def definitely relate to. Mm. All right, so we're going to go to the gratuitous plug stage now. <laughs> Anything you want to say at this point? Gratuitously plug yourself. Okay, um, I have the MySpace, which is myspace.com, Rosie Vanier, which is R-O-S-I-E-V-A-N-I-E-R. Um, I have an EP coming out before Christmas, which I hope you will like. Um, and check out my dates and stuff coming up in the new year and future releases. Any websites? Um, rosyvania.com, but it's not up and running yet, but it will be very soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thank you for having me.